welcome back. So, I think for my run, I've showered, uh, cleaned myself up, and now it's time to have breakfast. So, first things first, someone asked me about coconut water, and that is, which one's the best? Many different brands you can buy from the super, from the supermarket. Personally, um, I buy this one if it's this one here. Okay, you get it from Tesco's, but it doesn't really matter which one you buy. I just avoid. Um, um, Vita Coco because they add vitamin C in there, but, um, but apart from that, the best thing you should be having is fresh coconut. So, if you want fresh coconut water, it has to be the best stuff is from the actual coconut itself. You can buy these from in Sheffield, at a place called Osmond, you can order them online. Um, these are not hard to get hold of, they're about depending on what time of year you get them, but they vary between 129, about 130 to 2 pound 20, okay? At the cheapest, 1 pound 20, uh, and the most expensive, 220 in pounds, okay? I know in the US, these can be pretty expensive. I mean, in Florida, I remember going to the store and buying one, they cost me $5, and they grow on the trees. <laughs> so, <laughs> So first things first, we need a knife and we're going to need a spoon and let me just get some more equipment one moment. You're going to need a sieve and something to pour the water in. Let's just remove the bananas for a moment. We we'll need those. Turn this. So first things first, turn it on my side. And I make sure you have a sharp blade and you're going to cut through like this. Enough off. So, first things first. You're going to one, two, three, four. Just keep going around until it starts to crack. You'll see. Watch. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's coming. So, now be very careful to point the knife towards yourself. Just put it in like this and start to crack it. There you go. Now you have it. Not as full as this. Wash my hands. Now pour the coconut water into the sieve. So it gets rid of any excess you don't want. It's got to be using the um, Ninja, I want a suggestion to Ninja. Why don't you make different connections? One with the blades that point upwards, and then one like this. Because this is useless when it comes to making uh, smoothies. But anyway, just a suggestion to uh, Ninja there. I think it's a very good suggestion actually, but what do I know? I only make smoothies every day. So most people when they say smoothies are like, oh you gotta add milk in there. No 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 add milk in there. Spoon in, you're gonna go around and take the cream out. Clean up any unwanted give it a wash that's good stuff now mm. now watch all we're gonna do now is crack it open because with your fingers when you're holding it I like to hold it like this. Okay, so my fingers 
this grip on the side and I hit it on the, on the crack of the opening here. One, two, then I move down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crack into the meat, peel around, move the coconut around. So then soft the You'll normally find some brown stuff from the coconut. Normally, I try and clean as much as I can off. Because the quarantine, I'm focusing a bit more on myself. I'm going for long runs twice a week. It's not often I get to focus on myself these days. I'm always teaching other people. So. And there we have it. There's your breakfast. Welcome back to the dinner table. It's the afternoon, uh, three o'clock. We're about to have our next meal. So what do we have? We have a vegetable juice which contains four carrots, sorry, three carrots, um, courgette, or zucchini if you're in America, um, celery, cucumber, and ginger. Okay, all blend, all sorry, all juiced up. Of course, when you're doing juices, make sure you clean the skin off your vegetables if possible. And then here we have the main course. So we have a roasted garlic. Inside we've got one egg, two pieces of halloumi cheese, some lettuce, and then we have the beetroot burger, which if you want to make that, there's a video on my channel. If, uh, just go down the videos and you'll notice one uh, called the beetroot uh, burger. The recipe is right there on a brown cob, okay, or bread cake, whatever you want to call it. And of course, we have a spreading of avocado on each side, bottom and top, to finish off. Okay, so that's what I'm going to have today for dinner. It's not always what I have. I change it every day pretty much, but it's one of my favorites. Remember to toast the bread as well. I'm going to enjoy this. Have a great day, and we'll see you tonight for our last meal, okay? So we're back. It's the first day, and the last meal of the day, so very simple. We have three acai. Some red apple juice, manuka honey, and some freshly made granola. I already have granola that's made by me. So, watch what we're gonna do. Simple. Break the acai. Uh, where did my knife go? I lost it. Ah, there it is. So, we're just gonna put two in to start off with. Put a bit of a spoon and we're gonna put a bit of manuka honey in there because this stuff is extremely expensive so we don't put too much in there so I just get a teaspoon in if that and then I let it drop inside my acai because it's extremely good for you Whatever doesn't come off, I just take it because it's really nice, very sweet. I just wash this spoon because I'm going to use this and spin my mouth so other people are going to have the granola too. Now we just Get a nice fresh granola, just 
sprinkle that in. And there we have it, that's my midnight lunch, uh, supper sorry should I say, and um, I eat three times a day, every day, and that's basically it, I'll have some water to go with it, some distilled water, and that will be my day. Good morning, it's uh, day two of uh, feeding myself on camera and showing what I eat, so starting off the morning. We're gonna now have bananas, generally bananas are normally the start of the day, although tomorrow will be a little different as I'm going shopping into the local market to hopefully get some fruit for tomorrow morning. If I can get some good fruit, that is. I'm gonna go get some bananas tomorrow morning, breakfast. Sorry, not bananas, my apologies, some oranges. If they have some good ones. If they don't, then I won't buy it and I'll have bananas again. But so this morning we're gonna be having bananas. Very simple. Chop it up. You don't need to do that if you have a decent blender. Just put it straight in. We're going to be having watermelon to go with it. Classic mixture. It's also good with papaya too. Watermelon papaya is a classic and banana. yesterday that I'm eating less so it's three bananas and uh, half of a watermelon because they're pretty small this time of year beautiful all right guys so usually it's the afternoon I have a cooked meal but because it's my birthday we're gonna be eating tonight uh, at home because it's quarantine so not much open so we're just gonna stay home and eat so tonight we're gonna have the cooked meal so what do I what am I eating right now it's very simple I've got some washed prunes that I'm gonna eat some coconut water which I'm gonna drink and some mild cheese I always stick to mild because it can block the arteries um, so mild is better I'm not going to have all of this, I'm just going to probably have like half, if that, just slice it up and eat it with my prunes, maybe put some prunes on top. Also cheese is good with some honey on top too, that's another choice you could do, but for now this will do. Okay, so very simple, prunes that I buy from the shop, wash them, clean them, uh, some coconut water and some cheese, very simple meal today, and that's what I'm going to have in the afternoon, and then tonight we'll have a good cooked meal. See you later tonight. Good morning. Uh, breakfast. You may notice that I missed yesterday's nighttime meal that I said I was going to be putting on. And I didn't eat last night. So, uh, for whatever reason, I had nothing to eat. So, this is my first meal. I only ate twice yesterday, which is not an issue. But normally we eat three times. So, what are we going to do? It's three bananas. One, we don't want that in there. We're going to do the classic today, the classic Elio Gracie, where he liked to have his SIE, and that is with bananas. In 
missed a little bit here. Pick that off. Blend it up. pieces and down. Alright, blend it up again. with bananas, put it straight into a bowl, eat it with a spoon, Bob's your uncle. Alright, we'll see you later on this afternoon. Take care. Alright, we're back in the afternoon. So, very simple. What do we have to eat? We've got a nice fresh glass of carrot juice, freshly juiced. And then my lovely girlfriend has made me a noodle vegetable uh, stir fry, which is looking very nice. And then on the side, I've got two garlic mushrooms with an egg on top which i'm going to eat as well and, and that's for dinner basically so later on we'll have um, after class after i do my online classes um i should be done for nine o'clock ish and we're going to come back and have the last meal of the day so we'll see you later okay so welcome back guys um uh, for the last meal of the day we're going to be having oranges so Watch, very simple, I've done most of it, so all I've got is one less, so I'll show you this. I cut through here, and just slowly go around, moving the orange, using a jiu-jitsu technique. Okay, then we're going to... my last meal of the day um, just over one and a half liters of uh, orange juice make sure I'm dehydrated before I go to bed and lots of vitamin C so I always drink orange juice by itself it's uh, an acidic drink uh, it's hard to get oranges that are sweet unless you're in somewhere like Rio or you know hot countries that uh, have a lot of sweet oranges so normally they're acidic so they have to be drunk by themselves if you're following the gravy diet that is if not don't worry about it it's healthy welcome back it's morning time and what am i having very simple today we've got some today i've decided to go all out i've been four acai some granola apple juice and manuka honey mix that in here of course to go with it, I'm gonna have some distilled water to go with it, and then clean up after myself because whenever we're juicing and making these type of foods, it makes a little bit of a mess. But come with me, look, I'm gonna show you something. See this box here? There we have it. Let's just turn the light up a little bit. Fresh frozen acai delivered to my house. Thank you, courtesy 
to Sublime SIE. 200 bars. Much appreciated. Have a good day. I'm going to enjoy my SIE. We'll see you soon. Welcome back. It's the afternoon. Beautiful day. Sunny. Um, lots of reading. Lots of, um, lots of um, working on the educational side of things. Um, but we're at the dinner table, so let's make it short and quick. So what do we have? We have some zucchini, you call them fritters. Um, we've got some roast potatoes, roasted onion, some garden peas, and then some distilled water is what we're going to have. And that's going to be my afternoon meal. If you wanted to, you could put some cheese on top of the um, zucchini fritters. You can even stuff them with cheese, which is pretty cool. There's many things you could do with them, but it's pretty straightforward and basic. Uh, and pretty cheap too. So we'll see you tonight. So guys, last meal of the day, some freshly juiced watermelon. And then we have whole wheel bread with cream cheese spread on top and some lovely fresh dates peeled and obviously the pip taken out on both slices. Um, dates very good for you, excellent for your endurance too, especially when you're running. Make sure when you buy cream cheese, I advise buying the ones with no additives in, so simple plain cream cheese, in my opinion. I avoid Philadelphia at all costs. So enjoy your night, we'll see you soon, okay? See you in the morning. Good morning, it's breakfast time, it's 9.30. Um, very simple, bananas, acai again, this morning, blended up, three bananas, four acai, delicious, the more acai, the more ice creamy it looks, or if you put like, less bananas, but, three bananas is a good number, for the acai, in my opinion, and four blocks, been a bit more extravagant lately, with having more acai, so, back again, afternoon meal of the day. Um, we're going to be eating tonight, later on, some cooked food. So, I've just got some granola and some organic cashew milk. Which, by the way, is a very good make. Only three ingredients. Uh, sea salt, cashew, water. How it should be. I prefer cashew milk to almond milk because almond milk gets a little bit bitty. But both are good. Excellent. And that's it. Very simple. So a taste. Good stuff. S Saturday lunchtime. So look, we made a nice potato souffle. Cut in through here. Come in, and you have this delicious, cheesy mixture. It's a vegetable souffle with potato bottom. Very delicious and extremely nice. We're gonna have this with some carrot juice, and we're gonna enjoy a lot. Take care guys, and we'll see you tomorrow for the last dinner. Alright, welcome back. Last day, and we're having acai. So acai is full of iron, right? Lots of iron. And it's great for me because I have a, I have something called thalassemia. It runs in the family. And that means an iron deficiency in the red blood cells. Apparently I'm supposed to feel tired, but... I'm pretty energetic, I'm a little bit hyperactive as well, so maybe it's a good thing, it balances me out a little bit. So what we're going to have with it is dates, because dates are great for endurance, they have iron, um, and I'm going for a run later, so these are great. But how we use them is most important, watch this. I think a little bit of a mess right now, so bear with me. We're going to run some warm water, these have been frozen by the way, and I left them in water. Just to soften them up a little bit. I always freeze them and then I peel the skin off. 
And why do I peel the skin off? Because to keep these things nice and fresh from where they travel from, at the moment we don't know how to get them delivered to us without putting chemicals all over the skin to keep them fresh. So we want to get rid of those chemicals because they're not supposed to be eaten. It's not good for your body. So when you take the skin off, you get rid of whatever pesticides and whatever else they do to them to keep them fresh. Because remember, when they grow, they just peel the skin off like that, okay? And people say to you, yeah, but you lose some of the fiber. Fiber you're going to get from something else. Don't worry about that. Right? In fact, once someone told me that all the goodness is on the outside. That does not make sense. So if you have a if you have a steak, for example, <laughs> which I don't eat too much meat these days, but let's just say you have a steak, you're going to eat the skin of the animal, but leave the meat. Think about it. Same with plants and take the skin off. The goodness is in the good is in the inside. We we'll call this meat. I just break them up and put them in there. Of course, my hands have been cleaned before. All we're gonna do is get them puffed for the oats. them in and give it a good mix up so these are the ones I buy you get them from the uh, health section in Sainsbury's they're great or you can just get them online root health these are great stuff by the way you can get one without the honey too puffed rice versions so we'll see you later on for our next meal take care guys so we're back we're about to have our second meal of the day it's four o'clock, so we're gonna have some sushi made by me. Vegetable sushi, very simple. Um, and then we're gonna eat again tonight, somewhere between four and a half hours to five hours, probably around about eight o'clock ish. And then that will be the end of the day, and this will be the end of the video. So I made some sushi, sushi cones, uh, cucumber, rice, and um, red pepper, bell pepper in all of them. We had no other ingredients to put in there. The cake over there is not mine. My mother made it. So I will not be eating any of that by the way. I don't, I don't even know why she made it tell you the truth because then she can't. Because we don't eat it and uh, <laughs> and there's no one else can come around to the house. So oh well it doesn't matter. So last meal of the day and this is where we'll finish. We've got some, we've got three quarters of a bottle of coconut water and we've got some cheese to go with it, some nice mild cheese. So coconut water, three bananas, and some mild cheese to go with it. Obviously, I'm not going to eat all of this, but we're going to be having, you know, some slices of that just to add some protein into the body and some fats. Okay, so we'll put the video together. Hope you enjoy it, and hopefully it's helpful what we eat over five days.